In this river originates from Bokarchu near Mount Kailash and Mansarovar Lake in Tibet. Flowing northwest, it cuts through the Ladakh and Jaskar ranges. It passes through regions like Baltistan and Gilgit before emptying into the Arabian Sea south of Karachi, forming a vast delta. With a total length of 2,900 kilometers, its tributaries are equally significant, divided into two groups. Right bank tributaries, which include Shok, Gilgit, Hunza, Kunnar, Gomal, and Kabul rivers. The Kabul River, flowing from Afghanistan, joins Indus near Atak. And the left bank tributaries, consisting of Jhelum, Chinav, Ravi, Vyas, Satluj, Jaskar, and Panchanad rivers. The Indus Basin project, a key initiative, includes structures like Kishan Ganga Dam, Mangla Dam on the Jhelum, and Tabela Dam on the Indus, ensuring water management and hydroelectric power generation. The Ildus Water Treaty of 1960, brokered by the World Bank, governs the sharing of these waters between India and Pakistan. It allocates the western rivers to Pakistan and the eastern rivers Bias, Ravi and Satluj to India. India can use the western rivers for limited purposes like agriculture and power generation. Interestingly, India gets only 20% of the Indus waters while Pakistan receives 80%. The Indus River system is not just a geographical marvel, but a testament to the shared history and challenges of the Indian subcontinent.